Hello Crew World, I'm making this response video to a number of negative comments I've got on my channel for promoting Decker Hedgy. The reason I'm making this response video is because I think it highlights this pernicious kind of malicious issue that we have with podcasts and with YouTube, which is people um, being very judgmental, jumping to conclusions and this cancel culture of if there's a whiff of anybody even potentially doing something even slightly wrong, bam, we must get rid of them, obliterate them immediately. And I, I don't subscribe to that way of thinking. I've done a bit of research into Deca Hedgie's reason for his arrest. I could not find anything substantial. Got a couple of people who work for me and they literally couldn't find anything. I've reached out to Decker myself to see if he's got anything to add, but he's unavailable. I think the police might have his phone, um, according to my understanding. There is bits and pieces on the internet about driving charges, gun charges, etc., etc. but there's a lot of rumours that I think are unsubstantiated about sexual offence allegations. One thing that I would say is for any charge, we live in a system where you're innocent until you're proven guilty. And when somebody has allegations, there's a massive, really complicated judicial system to decide when they're innocent or guilty. It takes months of people who are really experienced and knowledgeable in the areas of the laws, judges, barristers, to figure it all out. So I'm gonna take their word for it, not your word, because you read something on the internet. I'm not saying I know what happened. I'm saying that I don't know, but at least I know that I don't know. And as such, I do not judge. I do completely appreciate that uh, that people of that are victims of domestic violence, sexual abuse, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, have gone through horrific experiences and traumas, and I empathise with those people. But I don't necessarily take anybody's word that Decca Hedgy did any of this without any evidence. And if what he says is correct, that these are all false allegations and it's damaged his mental health and it's forced him to step away from YouTubing, then I think that's a shame. I've only had brief interactions with him when I was a guest on his channel and he was nothing but respectful. Anyway, I just wanted to explain myself so I will not be taking any videos down unless or until I'm convinced otherwise that there's a good reason to. Until next time, stay thymic, enjoy the rest of my videos on my channel. Goodbye.